Hi guys, welcome to eLearning Info. My name is Rajesh. Today I'm gonna show you how to install Shira 10.12 on VMware. So I have already downloaded the image file. Okay, see the Mac OS 10.2 Shira. So, so, and I have extracted it. Okay, so. Uh, I show you how to download it. Uh, actually, I I mentioned the uh, download link on video. I'll mention the download link on video description so you can track down and download it. Okay, and uh, first, if you're installing that, so first you should prepare your VMware for installation macOS. Okay, so I show you. see the unlocker okay it is most important without unlock you can't install the mac os on work vmware so see the win.install.cmd so click it and make sure the run as administrator so see i have already installed it but just i show you how to install it okay and now uh, now uh, now it done and let's go on uh, vmware so see go on new virtual machine next next and install operating system later next see the mac os is showing this option is showing If you not done the unlock, if not uh, run the unlock uh, patch, so it it will not show the here. Okay, that reason first you should prepare your VM workstation, then ins uh, then install the macOS. Okay, and select here the uh, sorry, ten dot twelve, and next. Okay, select any name, Mac. Mac ten dot twelve Syria and uh, I have already make a separate folder for VMware. That reason I am change the location. Okay, see, see the D drive VM disk. Okay and Mac. Uh, guys, I uh, I'm separate folder created for virtual virtual disk. Okay, and if you don't want do the do that, so you can take default. Don't require to changes. Uh, change change the path and all. Okay. So next next take default no changes and give the minimum four GB RAM. Okay, so I give the five GB. Next. Next, next, and start a create forty GB. Next, VMD key locations on. Uh, I created a separate folder macOS this. So save next and finish. So guys, yeah. See the is created, and and now you remove the. Hmm. Okay, guys. So now remove this disk, remove it, and okay, and now add hard drive. Next, select SATA. Next, see the use an existing virtual disk. Select it. Next, browse. So, guys, I have to extract the file on this location. So, I select. Okay. I show you the location. V 
vm dk mac os and see this is winrar file download from internet okay i mentioned the download link on video de description and i extract it i got this folder okay and see the vmdk file okay so this file i browse it and give the location on this file okay and size approx uh, 8 gb okay so finish it now okay and let's go on file folder locations and guys now open the my disk location so i have created disk on this folder mac vmx okay the open the vmx file on notepad see this code and on add on last okay so i give that okay now save it now it done guys and now run guys it will take time so now pause the video when it complete so come back i can editable but okay guys so logo is completed and showing the uh, showing here the uh, uh, select your country which country you are belong so i select the india and if not showing your country so show the all and showing here okay and continue and select the so i just default next i don't transfer any information to mac so don't select it and continues okay enable the location sharing on the this mac so i am not doing that if you are required so you can select it continue okay i don't use the location sharing service okay and guys if you have any apple and icloud id and apple id so you can enter here but i have no i just don't and also you can create easily okay so i don't sign in continue and skip this is confirmation and the terms and condition the license agreement of mac um, mac os so and i agree and you should enter one username i type the your e learning in for it okay the same name is here and into the password and continue so local account is creating this is okay guys so select the time zone so i select the india and next sorry continue and if you want send any information diagnostic report and another to max so i don't want that and continue so guys this will take all so it will take time so now pause the video after done it so come back uh okay guys so now it done so guys os is successfully installed and configured with the vmware and okay now 
shut down the machine and install the VM tool on Mac. Shut down. So, guys, now uh, go on the CD and DVD ROM and select it and browse the ISO file of VM tool. Okay. So, D drive. My case is D drive. Uh, sorry. On desktop macOS 10.12 and see Sierra VM tool ISO okay and okay now again in start guys VM tool is most important because without VM tool uh, the display resolution and we can't adjustable okay because it is driver for Mac customized driver for Mac guys it will again take time so now pause the video when it comes to so come back okay guys so now log in your local user so my case is learning in 40 enter and see successful login and I'll make sure uh, if you're installing any tool from outsource outsource means if you installing another download uh, another side so you should enable one option on the security and privacy by default is uh, gray uh, selected app store and identif uh, identified developers okay otherwise uh, sometime is this option is selected so you only install application for app app store not installing application from other source okay so this option enable must must be enable okay so now go on and install vm tool and continue yes continue and installed asking the uh, local administrator password uh, i mean local uh, local account password installed installation continue okay configuration writing old file up register component updates okay guys so the showing here is uh, the display is too short but after installing and restart the system it display resolution is wide screen so guys the installation was successfully now restart and guys it will definitely take time so now pause the video after done it after complete it will come back okay guys so, so system restart is done now enter the credential your local local account and enter so okay guys and let's check the effect see the showing wide screen okay and also some driver take automatically when install the vm tool so i hope you understand how to install that so if you like my video subscribe my channel thanks for watching guys